What's up guys, it's Pete with MixBetterNow.com and I'm coming to you with a brand new plug-in review. We have the uh, new Waves Electric 88. Let's check it out. All right, so here we have the Waves Electric 88. Uh, the Waves Electric 88 is uh, their take, their version on a uh, classic Fender Rhodes electric piano. Um, what I'm going to do here is I have uh, pulled in some uh, some MIDI uh, uh, keyboard playing. I'm not the best keys player in the world, so I figured this would give you guys a much better um, understanding of how the overall instrument sounds. And um, it, it's kind of like so, some some blues playing. Um, and what's cool about it is it really includes uh, 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 full playing on the entire uh, octave range, so it goes from low to high on the keys, so you can hear what they all sound like, um, as I think that's important for any good Rhodes emulation. Um, the other thing that's great about this uh, plugin is it is at an introductory uh, sale price of, I think it's $39. Super cheap. Um, you know, especially if you guys don't have one, this is definitely a no brainer, but I do have some other, uh, Rhodes emulations pulled in here, uh, already, you know, ready to go, um, that I like the sound of and that I use often, uh, in my productions. So we'll check those out in a little bit, but, um, yeah, so I just want to, you know, turn some knobs and we'll see how it sounds, check out some presets, all that good stuff. But, um, let me hit play here so you can hear the, uh, hear the keyboard. This is the default preset. All right. So we're going to start at the bottom right hand section of the uh, uh, of the keyboard here. Um, in the silver area, this is what you would find uh, on just about every single analog Rhodes, which is going to be your volume knob, and then you're going to have your EQ section. Uh, underneath the tone, we have a three-band EQ. We have bass, mid, and treble. Uh, they all sound really good. To my ear, they kind of sound like a, a, like a Baxendall-style curve, so they're very musical, very gentle, all very usable. Um, and one thing I really like about the treble is it's very, uh, it's very gentle. It's not ice picky. It's not harsh when boosted, so very, very usable. Let's check that out. Another thing I really like about the mid band knob is that um, whatever band they are emulating, it, uh, it does not boost uh, the low mids where, you know, something like 400, 500 hertz where uh, when boosted it would start to sound boxy. So I'm guessing it's a little bit higher on the, uh, on the frequency spectrum. Uh, very usable EQ, so really like it. Uh, moving leftwards, uh, we have a built-in amp simulator, so uh, click the button right here, it turns the amp section on, uh, there's a drive knob, um, and then there's also a mic selection, uh, they have a condenser and uh, a dyna dy excuse me, dynamic microphone, which is uh, a really great idea. You know, for kind of a, a meat and potatoes uh, virtual instrument, it's just, you know, a few bells and whistles that are just really nice choices uh, with the condenser and the dynamic. We get two very distinct sounds, um, and then we can drive the amp pretty hard and we can get a little bit dirty, so let's check that out.
awesome. Just gives you the option to kind of go with a brighter or a darker flavor uh, for whatever uh, you know uh, program material you're wor you're working with. Moving leftward, we have a compression knob here. Uh, this is more of an effect to me uh, as opposed to being an actual uh, method of controlling your dynamics. So the more we boost it, uh, we're going to get more attack, we're going to get more sustain, and we're going to get more volume. Let's check it out. <laughs> Again, just a really nice option to have when you're uh, when you're building your sound. Uh, okay, moving left underneath the mix section, uh, we have four knobs which uh, kind of affect uh, what I would describe as the realism of uh, of, uh, of this keyboard um, of this. I'm sorry, electric piano. And uh, what's cool is it models um, the internal tines, uh, key noise, and the overall mechanical sound of, you know, playing and hitting the key bed. So um, as you'll see, when I turn each one of uh, these up, you will hear um, the respective sounds. So the more I boost the tines, you will hear the internal uh, tines in the piano. Uh, you know, you're going to hear more of that bell glass-like shimmer. Uh, with the keys, you're going to actually hear the keys moving, uh, let the fingers, you know, an actual player uh, uh, hitting the keys and the mechanics just kind of controls the overall mechanics of the sound of the key bed. I think just you know massaging uh, a little bit of each in is nice. I think that that you know the tines somewhere in the middle sounds good. Very cool. Just just the ability to kind of give it a more realistic sound. Uh, Keep uh, going leftward here. We have a velocity curve knob and a formant knob. Uh, what the velocity curve knob does is uh, the uh, harder we boost it, the higher we boost it, uh, we will get a higher velocity uh, of the actual uh, keys being played. Um, and with the formant knob here, to me, it just kind of sounds like it brightens things up or it um, uh, kind of rolls off some of that high, almost, almost like a filter, but not really, but kind of. <laughs> um, I'll show you what they sound like. the formant it sounds to me like it just kind of uh, takes away some of the attack when you turn it to the left so it just kind of gets a little bit more gooey and syrupy when you're when you're um, you know dialing in your sound or if you're playing and tweaking it while you're playing and of course what's cool about this too is that depending on your MIDI controller or whatever it is that you have in your studio and you use you can assign all of these um, uh, all of these knobs and faders, uh, you know, to, to the ones on your MIDI controller. So when you're performing, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, kind of dictate where you like your settings and, uh, and apply them. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and dial in some of the stuff on the bottom here. I uh, just want to kind of get like a cool crunchy sound uh, using all of the uh, features we just went over. <laughs> Awesome. 
So there's a lot, a lot of flexibility uh, within this, uh, this electric 88 here. Uh, let's turn these back a little bit and let's check out the effects on top. All right, so uh, we turn the effect rack on. Uh, we're gonna go left to right now. Um, there's a button right here. First one up, we have tremolo, um, and this syncs up to your um, to your session, uh, whatever the BPM is. Uh, you can lock it in. So this is a dotted eighth note right here. Uh, we have a rate knob and a depth knob. Let's check out what that sounds like. So what's cool is you just kind of gently have it swirling underneath what you're playing and you'll know that it will be in time with your session um, and it won't get out of sync. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip over the ones in the middle to the right. Let's check out the reverb because I want to turn that on. Uh, you just click that button right there. Uh, very cool. We have four uh, four knobs, uh, mix, pre-delay, time, and this is a dampening knob. Um, so you could set the amount of reverb you have with your mix knob. Uh, you could set your pre-delay, the time of your delay, and then we can actually dampen that back a little bit with this knob. So let's just get a little verb in there. You know, and it can get pretty extreme, but uh, I just want to get it to a place where it's sounding nice. Cool. Uh, let's keep going here. We have a chorus knob. So you can kind of get that, you know, that almost uh, almost Leslie effect. Um, I, I actually think it would have been cooler if they did have a Leslie effect on here where you actually get the rotating speaker as opposed to it just chorusing on uh, throughout. But, you know, hey, it's uh, like I said, it's kind of a meat and potatoes virtual instrument. So for the price, I'm not complaining. Um, we, we have this phaser section right here. So I guess we can blend them and kind of get our own Leslie sound. And there's also an auto pan. So let's turn this on. Yeah, you know, so working, uh, massaging in the uh, the chorus and the phaser, you can sort of get a Leslie-ish, you know, thing going on. Um, and again, you can also, you can choose to sync this uh, to, to the BPM of your session, or you can uh, have it on the free setting. I had it on the free. Um, we can do that with, the, like I said, with the tremolo and with the auto pan. Uh, let's take these off and let's hear what the auto pan sounds like. pan is a little bit it's it's probably what I would I would consider uh, a Leslie effect because it's instead of panning it almost sounds like it's swirling in my headphones to me very cool um, that's all the effects on the top so all the effects are in this rack here and then all of the keyboard settings are in here so now what I want to do is um, let's just click through a few presets real quick
I've, I've only gone through about eight, and as you can tell, uh, you know, we're getting a lot of variance in uh, the way that we can shape and mold the sounds of the uh, Electric 88. the preset name I dig older chicks So, I mean, just with the presets alone, you don't even have to turn any knobs, and you've already got a bevy of different sounds at your fingertips, uh, uh, lots of different, uh, um, you know, types of sounds that you can use in all kinds of different music. Like I said, for $39, I mean, if you guys don't have a Rhodes uh, a virtual instrument, you got to get this. I mean, it's killer. Um, now, what I want to do now is I'm going to bring it back to the, uh, to the full reset, and I'm just going to A-B it to a couple other... Um, Rhodes that I use. So one of them is the Tune Track, uh, Easy Keys, but you know this is their their Rhodes, their Mark One. Uh, the other one that I'm going to pop open is uh, it's called uh, Neo Soul Keys, and uh, it works in the Contact Player here. But um, they all sound great. So when I click on the track here, it'll automatically solo to that um, to what's on that track. So like I said, we'll start with the waves. And we'll just kind of toggle back and forth and see how it hangs in there uh, with these other ones that I know sound good. I'm just going to tweak this a little bit. default preset on the Neo Soul Keys. I think I was messing around with that. We'll start off with it um, here. I think it really, you know, it hangs in there with everything else. Um, you know, you get you get some other virtual instruments that are a little bit more expensive, hundred dollars, two hundred, three hundred dollars. But like I said, for thirty nine bucks, no brainer. Uh, just for fun, I'm gonna drag in some drums here. It's got a drum loop. <laughs> And 
there you have it. That is the uh, the Waves Electric 88. Uh, just came out today. Uh, go download a copy, uh, demo it. I mean, for thirty nine dollars, go buy it. It's awesome. Uh, I'm probably gonna pick it up, and I really don't need another Rhodes. But uh, anyway, so those are some of the sounds. Those are the presets, and then you got to hear a couple of the other uh, Fender Rhodes emulations that I use. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you haven't already, please do me a favor. Please hit uh, like. Please hit subscribe. Uh, click on the link in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Uh, when you sign up for my email list, I will send you my free swag bag full of all kinds of goodies: uh, free multi track sessions, free mix templates. Uh, free drum samples, um, all kinds of good stuff. So check it out. All right, that's it for me. My name is Pete with MixBetterNow.com and I will catch you guys next time. Hope you have a great day.